it's, it's interesting when you go up there and see this man. Mm -hmm. So we are here at Winchester Mystery House. Yeah. Do you want to talk? Sorry. Hi, this is Marty at Marty Moments of Motorcycles, my friend here, Amit, my director, and uh, Moon is behind the camera. Mm -hmm. We're at the Winchester Mystery House in San Jose, a place I was born next to. My house was just down the street, about a uh, hundred yards away from the Mystery House. In fact, my grandfather, Mr. El last name Elliot, was the, one of the carpenters for Mrs. Uh, Winchester during the time she was here. So we're going to go take a tour of this this wonderful little house and, and I'll give you little updates and, and things about it that are unique to me and my family and uh, in fact my father-in-law was an usher here at one time. Uh, his last name was Mr. Pertoni and uh, Jerry and so he has a little history here himself and uh, so hopefully we don't see any ghosts and uh, uh, we'll, we'll start our tour right now, okay? Thanks. <laughs> So does this really recall your childhood? Yes, except there's one big difference. It was never this clean. I mean, it was never this clean. It wasn't painted. It was brown. It was brown wood, mm -hmm. dirty. In fact, we didn't come in through anything like this. We came in through the back door, mm -hmm. and they had a a wood a, a cherry picking crate right here, and we get up and go inside the back of the house back over here not here and so this is all new mm -hmm. this is really new in the last maybe 20 years now I was passed by this road and I thought to stop here one day so that's uh, that's today yeah. <laughs> well you know my, uh, my grandfather used to tell her us all the stories about how he hated her and she was always uh, very uh, OCD you know a lot of uh, a lot of replacing and redoing and, and she would stand above and I'll show you when we we're inside when in the kitchens and stuff she would look down and tell the carpenters do this do that don't do this don't do that so let's do it again I don't think it's right you know mm -hmm. she was really a nitpick and uh, so it's really great stories and then uh, our house was just across the field that used to be there no field there now the three of us Thank you, sir. It took forever for them to, uh, because of the road, and the press. So, hello, everybody. Hi. My name is Sierra, and I'm going to be your guide today for about your hour-long tour through Mr. Winchester's beautiful Buck Desire Victoria Mansion. Before we begin, there are a few rules that we're going to go over. The first one is going to be there'll be no touching. Um, the mansion is a little over 100 years old, and we are trying to preserve it the best that we can. We know eating, drinking, chewing gum. Um, the, the only exception is bottled beverages. If you guys have any gum or anything, this is the only trash can in the house in this corner. As we go through the tour, you can take as many photos as you'd like, as long as it does not disrupt the progress of the tour. But there will be no flash photography or videos allowed. Now, as we go through, or starting off here, this is our parents' house. This is where Miss Winchester would have her parents brought in. So she put 45 acres and moved over 160. And as we go through the house, throughout the house, you guys are going to notice a lot of things. So does the store here at least absolutely nowhere? There's going to be a lot of things like this doors to nowhere, um, windows to walls, doors to ceilings. And no one really knows why Sarah so had these things brought into her house. And I'm sure by the end of the show, you guys will have a lot of theories of your own. And also, um, with the mask, we decided to keep it above the window. So if you guys want to follow me this way, we're going to see the color of the house. Um, just ask that everyone watch your step along the way. And if you look to the right, you can come to the 
Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are here in Winchester Mystery House in San Jose. So, um, all, although we took a little tour of the house, we could not see a bunch, but we see, saw a lot today. And Marty, who was born out here in San Jose and, you know, it's been around his whole life around this house, is going to tell something more about this house to us. So here, Marty, let's get started. Hey, buddy. So anyway, like he said, I was born just a couple of houses down, maybe 150 yards, really, from this, this site we're sitting right now. When I grew up in the 50s, there were no buildings, there was no century theaters, there's none of that yet. That was all grass. I used to play when it was five foot high and we played a lot of army in that grass. And we used to come to this Winchester Mr. House as children, as kids, uh, before they were doing uh, what they did today. This is beautiful right now, but back then there was no fence, there was no, there was nothing to hide you from not coming here. Mm -hmm. And so we would come in here and, and walk in, not being, not talking to anybody, just looking around and seeing things. And, and it didn't have the paint, it didn't have the beauty this house has now. So it was a big contrast from when I saw it back in the 50s to the day. And it's really interesting because even when I was growing here, there was no 280. There was only two lanes of, of San Jose, uh, of Winchester Mystery, the Winchester's Boulevard, just two lanes. Mm -hmm. And across the street, it was just orchards. This is before the Pruning Yard. This is before the, the uh, Courtesy Chevrolet. Before all that was brought up, there was just orchards. We used to go across the street and pick prunes uh, to make our school clothes money. It was great. It was a different time. So when I see this today, I said, oh my God, this is really commercialized. But you know what? It's beautiful. It's a great little tour. My grandfather, Elliot, on my mother's side, in the turn of the century was Mrs. Winchester's number one carpenter. She, him and another couple of guys would do all her little kitchen cabinets and kitchen work. And uh, it was really amazing to hear him tell the stories. And I always wanted to see this place. My, my father-in-law, which I didn't know back then, actually was an usher in this place at one time, uh, back in probably the 60s. Mm -hmm. And you know something? It really hasn't changed much except for the, the upgrade of the flowers, the beautiful uh, gardens they have here, and, and the, the upgrade of the rooms. They just made it just perfect, picture perfect. Marty, S Marty, quick yeah. question. So you've been around this house your whole life, mm -hmm. and it's called a Winchester Mystery House. So yes. what's the mystery of this place? You want to let a little bit know about it? Well, the, the good news is, and the bad news is, there's probably not any ghosts in this house, but the, but the, the thing is, everyone has a story. Everybody has a story. Even our tour guy gave us a story uh, about seeing someone looking like this guy in the picture and someone seeing this, this and that. When I lived here and when my grandfather uh, was working here, he never experienced any ghosts. And I think she had so many superstitious, and which a lot of people were in that era, uh, superstitious beliefs that they believed in things that, you know, the ghosts. Mm -hmm. and, and so this was a perfect haunted house because you hear the blowing of the wind inside. You hear people talking in other rooms and they're not there. It's not because there's ghosts. And maybe it's just the woodwork of this work. This, this is the kind of stuff that echoes through the whole house. And this house is so big, I can believe that anyone would think this is a haunted house. Mm -hmm. It's not hard to believe when they had these nighttime uh, uh, Halloween tours at night, man, you got to really tighten up because it could get scary. The wind blowing on a rainy night, you do that tour, forget it. You know there's a ghost somewhere. So if the ghost is going to live somewhere, why not here? So if, if there is ghosts, perfect place to live. They get to see beautiful people wait and see you in every day and they and they get a lot of rooms they can hide in and not be bothered. So, so uh, you told us that you've been in the, uh, you've been in around this house your whole life. Yeah. Any story that you can tell us that can represent like what it what it is? Well, it, it, one of the things that it was a quiet place when I lived here. I don't remember seeing all the tours they had. It just didn't seem like it had a lot of touring there, but you can go 200 miles away and see a sign, come visit the Witches Mister House. Uh, I, I, my uncle, my grandfather uh, would tell me that he always talked to people who saw ghosts. They always did. Someone would have a story. Mm -hmm. uh, and so he'll tell us those stories and we would not sleep that night. And, uh, wow. but, but, you know, really I didn't get to see it. Well, that's awesome. Well, we always watch movies, you know, and hear stories about ghosts and, uh, you know, the spirits and stuff. But there are good spirits and bad spirits everywhere. Yes, so that's I, right. 
I bet uh, we went into this house and we are, we are well alive and we didn't see anything. So that means there are a lot of good spirit in the house as well. Yeah, I think so. They're all money. Exactly. But uh, <laughs> no, money there are money spirits. You know, uh, I, I have a, a inkling, a belief of, 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 of things, of psychic stuff, and, I, and I'm and i sure other people do too, and uh, and sometimes I get a feeling in a room and I say, see, Minis, this must have been a very busy room because I felt something in there. Mm -hmm. So that's what you get in this place. You, 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 you let your imagination run, you might go crazy. So exactly. control it and have fun when you come here to see sure. this place. Hey Marty, you wanna walk us around and yeah, show us? Yeah, come follow me. I'll major, show you some things. A couple of major parts, like I love that horse on the top of that house. So the and that's what all the all the people loved horses back then. They, you know, they didn't have cars. If they had cars, there'd probably be a car on that. You know. Right. Well, if I build a build a house up by the mountain, that's what I'm gonna put on top of my house as well. Well, this is her chariot, you know, that's what they, they're showing here. And that's what you had in the turn of the century because we didn't really, they didn't really have cars out here. They're still, this was country. I mean, when you came out here, you were in country. Yeah. So you had a wheels. horse and you, and you didn't go very far. I mean, the old Connors Hospital is way down over there. And I don't know when that built was. And that was built out in, towards San Jose. And downtown San Jose, it's a, it's a pretty good trek from here. It's miles. It's probably by, as a crow flies, it's probably 10 miles. So, you know, horse and buggy, you get up early and go to work or go or go to town to shop. And that's what they, they had back then. Well, my feeling is like, you know, we ride motorcycles, we love cars. And that concept from 100 years ago, if you have this, it's like really amazing. Now, here's what you saw a lot of. Here's here's what you saw a lot of. My uh, brother had one of these cars, just like this, an old fall, uh, a Ford Model T. And uh, this is turn of the century stuff. No, that's <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you were my age or older, you know about this car. You saw. Did you ever have something like that when you living in your garage somewhere? No, these were. Yeah, yeah. You're from Pennsylvania. Jersey. Jersey. Oh, yes. Well, we did too. We lived. In, we were their neighbors. When I was playing, I was just telling them when. We used to sneak in and play all the time because they didn't have, it wasn't as commercial as it is today. And this wasn't painted, nothing was painted, it was just all brown wood. And so uh, they did this probably in, uh, maybe 40 years ago, started upgrading this place to make it look what it looks like today. And, uh, but that was a rundown, it was broken, it was, you couldn't even use it. And so they had a gate outside that gate so you couldn't get in or go, I mean, they didn't even use it. They just made it so that you couldn't get in. But the thing I was telling him is that, there was no walls or anything that way all the way down to my house it was just because dirt that was all, but that was all like farmland and stuff right? Some well we didn't have farmland farm no that was the farms were across the street all your ranches were across the street uh your we had uh prune trees at a million of them over there and we trees yeah trees yeah like that. yeah that's this area though When I was maybe as young as four or five years old, we used to go to church, and our church was just down the street uh, where the gas station is. It was just south of that little gas station, a couple, you know, maybe 20, 30 yards. We would walk by the Winchester house every Sunday because our house was right down the street on Winchester, and this was all broken down. This is the original gate, and that's the original building, uh, the pillars, but they were just run down. In fact, they put a gate in front of it, a, um, a, a wired fence in front of it to keep people from going through this. This was the main entrance. And when you look through the gate, you didn't see a clean house. You saw weeds and these trees weren't here. I mean, it was just bushes and, and dried up. I mean, it looked like a haunted house. This looks like a house that someone's living in right now. A beautiful home but back in that day back in the 50s it looked like a haunted house oh my gosh but hey so when you go out here around the, this yard all this is fairly new and uh like i said i was telling my my buddies here 
that there was no fence on this side. It was just weeds all the way to my house. It was just an uh, uh, open field. Back in the 60s, the Century 21 and two, uh, two, three, and four bought their bought their their properties and and made the the uh, the theater uh, Century Theaters. Then they made it well they commercialized. And then where if you look over here where Santana Row is, you see Santana Row. Those were orchards. Then it came courtesy Chevrolet came. And then he still had orchards, and then they had town and country um, uh, stores in there, were all made look like little log cabins, and you, you had stores in there. And then later on, you had Santana Row. And now this is the heart, the heart of San Jose. You don't come to San Jose. You, come, you don't come to the Bay Area without seeing this area. This is money. Did you know that in the Bay Area, the, the, the Santana Road Valley Fair Shopping Center is one of the most gross profit stores in the world. They have, in fact, they take business away from San Francisco. And, and you're, you're just talking about a beautiful day when you come here. Spend a whole day here and you'll go on and rent a room up in there and come back the next day. You could be here all day. A lot of great eating places. Perfect for anyone who's coming in from somewhere else. Exactly. So we had fun today, Marty. We had fun. Yeah. All right, but hey. Of course, we're gonna bring our family, maybe our, you know, friends to the Winchester Mystery House again and give them a little. Yeah, your wife's gonna love it. She's gonna look yep. at that bed and say, hey, "Buy me one of those, honey." Okay, right. <laughs> so when you're out riding around and you actually see me, stop by and say hi. If you're watching this, Please hit a like. like if you like it. If you don't like it, tell us what we should have done. But I tell you right now, we had a gas. When you are a motorcycle kind of guy, these are the kind of places you like to go to. You, you see beautiful people, you see beautiful sights, you get to go to Santana Road across the street. There's so much to do, you're going to knock it out of the park. Exactly. And Marty, thank you for having us out here today and showing us your little uh, childhood memories. And uh, please guys, like and subscribe. We're you know, doing the best right now uh, of whatever we have. And Moon is helping us doing a lot of editing and grabbing good pictures and videos. Marty's doing the same. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching us. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let Thank me take a picture. Uh -huh. Let me take a picture. Five person bed to live. Guys, thank you very much for having us.